Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking with the Salmons and this is Greg. Now today I'm going to be teaching you how I make my Cajun butter crab claws. Alright? Now before we do that, let's go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that post notification bell as well so you'll be notified each time we post. Alright? And without further delay, let's get started. Okay guys, so these are the ingredients that we'll be using for our crab claw recipe today. All right, so we're basically gonna be making Cajun butter crab claws. Normally I try to get the crab claws that are um, uncooked, but I cannot find uncooked crab claws at this time. So I'm gonna be using these. These are Jonas crab claws, and they are just flash cooked, like quickly cooked. So I'm gonna go ahead and process this for you. I'm gonna also um, show you exactly how it's done. Now, these, are gonna take a shorter time period to cook because as I said, they were flash cooked before, all right? So all we need here is our um, perfect pinch Cajun. This is the best one that I can find. This is the one that I use, perfect pinch McCormick, all right? I'm also gonna be using some Old Bay, some butter, and of course we have our crab claws here, all right? So let's go ahead and take it over to the stove and I'll show you exactly how it's done. Okay guys, so after bringing our pot to a boil, we're gonna go ahead and just add our crab claws. Now, the crab claws, they're normally frozen. So what you could do, you could um, take them out of the freezer, keep them in the refrigerator overnight, or for about, you know, five hours or so to have them thaw on their own, or you could run them under some cold water to, um, to, to thaw them before cooking, all right? So mine has been thawed. I ran them under some cold water. I'm gonna go ahead now and add them to the pot. So we'll just go ahead and add them. And these are, um, this is about two pounds. One bag equals two pounds of Jonas crab claws. Now, if you know where you can find some uncooked crab claws, drop that in the comment section. I would surely like to know where I could find them. And I'm in New Jersey and I keep searching, but I'm unable to find the uncooked crab claws. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and let this boil for about, um, say about four to five minutes, because as I said, it's already, um, flash cooked. I'm going to just add some old bay seasoning. Normally if I'm doing blue crabs or, you know, any kind of other raw crabs, I would basically add my own seasoning as well as Old Bay, but for this, Old Bay is good enough. I'm not gonna be adding any salt to the to the pot because I already have um, salted butter for the sauce and also the perfect pinch Cajun is pretty salty already, okay? So I don't need salt in the pot. So I'm gonna leave this to boil for 45 minutes and then I'll be back to show you exactly how I prepare the Cajun butter sauce, all right? Okay guys, so while our claws are being boiled, I'm gonna go ahead and start the Cajun butter sauce, okay? So I'm gonna be using one stick of butter for this. We're gonna go ahead and melt that one stick of butter. Okay guys, so next I'm gonna go ahead and add our Cajun, um, Cajun powder, our Cajun seasoning, and we're gonna just mix it in. Mix it in with the butter and have it simmer for about a minute or so. All right, so just make sure that your stove is turned down really low and you just have this simmer for a minute and at the end of it, we'll get our Cajun butter mix, okay? Okay guys, so now our crab claws has been boiling for four minutes. It's time to turn the stove off. It's all done and ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and get this strained, remove the crab claws, and then add the, the Cajun butter sauce to it. 
and we're all done. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get that done right now. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead now and, and um, drain our crab claws. Already now, I'm gonna go ahead and add our sauce while it's hot. Okay, guys. So after I've plated my crabs, the um, the last step in the process is to add our sauce. All right. So as you can see, these are already pre pre sliced. So I try to get some of the sauce in the slices to season the actual insides of the crab. All right. And then you can go ahead and use the sauce as a dipping sauce. But I like to add, add it to all the, um, the claws. First I'll add some to the claws and then I'll reserve some as dipping sauce. And there you have it guys, Cajun butter crab claws made easy. All right, so you can go ahead now, crack and eat. And there you have it, crab claws made easy. Now if you gained any knowledge from this video, let's go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that post notification bell as well so you'll be notified each time we post. Now if you do your crab claws another way, Drop in the comment section as well so we can discuss it. And if there's any other recipe you'd like for us to try, go ahead and drop that in the comment section and we'll be sure to get to it. Alright? And until next time, walk good, one love, and big up on yourself.